You know, I've received a medal for my ingenuity in finding a use for you cons. But just remember, if you disobey orders, there's a special place in solitary confinement for you. Your so-called right to complain was forfeited the moment you chose to break the law. Okay then, go make yourselves useful. An Ocean Air Force squadron is currently entering Arusian territory for reconnaissance. Due to certain factors, their return route has been changed. The new return route will be through Yinshi Valley, a scenic and rocky karst area. The enemy's radar facilities and anti-aircraft weapons hidden on the mountainside pose a serious threat. Your mission is to destroy them and get our guys out in one piece, even if it puts your own lives in danger. And it is important to remember, they will send up interceptors if you're detected. So you will need to choose something useful in a dogfight. The weather won't be on your side, but you're doing this whether you like it or not. Worry about the squadron's return route, not your own. Your mission is to get them back safely, which I think is the perfect punishment for your crimes. Operations complete. You're clear to taxi. Spare Squadron, this mission needs to be quick. Target radar facilities and AA weaponry. They're set up on a rugged terrain, and there's a lot of cloud cover. You will be near thunderclouds. Man, you guys were born unlucky. Wait. Dumbass who came up with this batshit plan. Just obey orders. Air Force Base 444 Squadron, this is Cyclops 1. The Cyclops and Strider Squadrons currently contain seven aircraft. Stand by. We'll be arriving shortly. Understood. Radar's working! We're under attack! Hello. Don't wait for interceptors! Use missiles! We're low on ammunition. It'll be hard to take on hostiles. We'll have to rely on you guys to make it home. Cyclops 1, this is Bandog. We need the job done on time. Bandog? <laughs> cool name. Nice work on you, Mr. Gondog. Nice the terrain makes the airstream bumpy. Don't damage those planes. I can't see him. Hey, gotta fly by your vehicle. Nickel. Nickel. Spare 15, locked. Destruction of target facility is confirmed. Is a secret reconnaissance plane is deep inside Arusia? 
escaped the ruins. That's all I know. You sure found out quick. They got a secret weapon, maybe? There's only so much I can find out. Enough talk. Fire! They have nowhere to run!
got some new guys in support. Looks like there's one guy who's got everyone's backs.
in the clouds. Chase them down. You've got this. Pressure warning. Pressure warning. Sol 1, this is Sol 2. My status is fine. Do not interfere. Sol 1, the clouds are moving in. Let's return to base. Survive somehow. Trigger, kindness gets you killed. Hey, God Dog, who's the guy who worked his ass off at the rear? <laughs> the biggest dumbass in the unit. Makes sense. Only an idiot would be brave enough to pull off those moves. I'll guide you back to Air Force Base 444, though I doubt you have enough gas to make it. Appreciate the help. Will we be at the base? I wouldn't get involved if I were you. Runway is clear. You have permission to land. You made it this far, don't screw up now. Three thousand meters. The crew said the enemy had one mean son of a bitch flying for him. Our team had a few Air Force hot dogs, real experienced pilots. But this guy swooped in like a hawk, locked on, and took them all out in the blink of an eye. Reminds me of a story Gramps told me once. He said a little while before he retired from active duty, he saw an enemy fighter wipe out an entire formation right in front of him. It was like seeing how a shark works when it's going after its dinner. This enemy pilot stalked Gramps' pals from below, just like how a shark would. Then one by one, he put the bite on them. Sounds like what happened to our guys today. Kind of surprised so many made it back alive. I bet when they saw what was going on, they broke formation and left their buddies to the shark. Hang on. There's three extra planes here. They're foreigners too. You returned without permission and failed as escorts. So how about you rethink your value while in solitary? Take them away. Well, well, what do you know? Pilots made it back to base alive. Treat them well and feed them plenty. After all, we have to get a favorable report out of them. I've spent enough of my time being the commander of some worthless penal unit. to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face. Like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. 
So you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow him straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was gonna keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. Attention! If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. HQ has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable. Stand by at the front. Champ went down crying like a baby. I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Oh, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I'm gonna blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I see a lot of oil tanks. Hurts. All warships. There's plenty of buildings, too. Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation, but they don't look like the military. You think you look anything like military? Fox 2. away. You're as well as truly started. Damn! That's what I call fireworks! <laughs> yeah! Get the ships out of here! We're gonna blow up! I've got more bad news. The Megastorm and Nessa 2 that formed a few days ago 
was approaching our AO. No time to smell the roses then. A fighter pilot needs to fight. Missions like this are too easy. I got an oil to burn up the sea. Another one popped. Burn pitches. Are you guys all back? Watching the fireworks display. Burn, baby, burn. Trigger, here's a quietly plugging away. Think you're the only stable one here? The man dog was right. We're no problem in the military. Freak enough with the holier than thou act, tabloid. I belong in the penal unit. Trigger, you belong here even more than I do. It's all about where you're from. Suck on me! Target is annihilated. Nessa 2 entering AO in three minutes. Shit, we're out of time. Three minutes remaining. Missile in the air! Heads up! Nessa 2 is about to arrive. Right. Bring out the trucks. Make sure their routes are split. Take every drop of fuel you can carry. It looks like some oil tankers loaded with oil got away. HQ saw them on satellite. Burn down everything that turns up. That cheers me up. Why are they popping on and off of radar? Sand clouds. Sand breaks up here and there. That's when radar picks them up. If you detect something, strike fast. Staring at my radar and trolling? This is not my style. Even in sand, you can lock on if you get close enough. Are you sure you can trust that intel? Easy for you to say. You 
guys do whatever you want. I'm going off by myself. Okay, do you think that's for the best? Tanker truck destroyed. Make sure you wipe them all out. Take that! Eyes like a jackal, Trigger. Got one on radar. Moving! Caution. Nothing but sand and rock. Nice place to build a prison. We can toss you in it as soon as it's up.
Prioritize the tankers. We'll worry about the UAVs later. Damn. You might as well get your last rights now. Exactly, that was all dumb luck. Wait, you were in earshot, Count? Must have been straining to hear from high altitude. Seems you've learned nothing in the sky, Count. Well, yeah, it's not like there's anything I can learn from Trigger. The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. So it looks like we're getting attention from above. If any credit is due, it should come to me. Prisoners deserve nothing. Team's headquarters is starting to view some of you in the penal unit as a valid military force. Or at least that's what the rumors are saying. But that's bullshit. The only reason you're here is to atone for your crimes by carrying out missions. <laughs> well, you sit on your ass and get medals. You, solitary, now. Okay, on to the briefing. In this mission, you're going into Arusian territory. We know the Arusian Forces communications facility to the north in the Waipolo Mountains is linked to the swarm of drones. Your mission is critical. You will destroy the facility and then weaken those drones. As it's important, the enemy won't go down without a fight. The area is watched over by spy satellites. If discovered, expect AA missiles. Unless you have a death wish, you must use the clouds for cover around the sides and base of the mountains. Use the clouds to hide from their satellites, and you just might have a chance to shake off their missiles. If you do find a missile on your tail, head to the clouds and pray. Let the missile kill you or crash into the rocks. That much freedom I will give.
Time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Watching from above. Stay in, in or below the clouds to keep hidden. That means no missiles. Even you lot should understand that. Talk about an enclosed space. What's more enclosed than solitary? Commence operation. That's your target radar. Destroy the anti air weapons around it, too. Enemies are attacking! Enemy aircraft are heading this way! Just drive them away. Chase them upward. Lead them into the missiles. But what if the radar isn't under a cloud? Destroy it. And then scurry for cover if you value your life. I thought you'd say that. Destroy radar sites. You're still under satellite observation. Watch out for missiles. Feels like I'm being watched by a pack of band dogs. Their missiles are guided by a combination of the satellite and the radar facility. So if the radar facility is destroyed, their missiles should stop hitting their targets. Are you sure you can trust that intel? Who knows? Only one way to find out. You're best shaking off missiles by going into the clouds. Caution. Missile away. Targeting gun range. Fire. You're in plain view, Spare 15. Get back to the clouds. Radar site confirmed destroyed. However, not all radars have been taken out. The satellite's still in operation. They sure aren't making things easy for us. Damn it, they're making us do something, but just what? It's a dangerous operation, but it's better than running through a minefield blind, I guess. You're so naive, tabloid. What we're doing is exactly like running through a minefield blind. Silence. If you've got time to yap, you're not doing your job right. Got in using a trick any amateur could think of. Picked up a bunch of intel. Full man, that's your second strike. There won't be a third. Target destroyed. Missile. Two to go. Missile. I got my hands on a password, and after some digging around, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure you understand what you're saying, Spare Six. I'll let you in on it when we're home, Van Dog. Missile. In this war, Missile. intel is a life or death matter. <laughs> I think you might be right. I almost got hit by AA fire. Cancel alert. Remember that satellite is up there. Box 2. Locked. Radar site destroyed. Show the last one the same hospitality. The enemy is packing a lot of anti-air weaponry. I know. I can't focus on attacking like this. sites we needed to destroy. That probably put a stop to their satellite's missile guidance capabilities. Someone fly above the clouds. How about you do it? I like the sound of that. You can deal with the exercise. Wait a minute. Hold it. What's going on, Van Dog? This is the Air Force Base 444 Squadron. What is your affiliation? Nobody told me there was this many nearby. Incoming Allied fighters, respond. And the regular forces don't want anything to do with the penal base. Hey, they have radar lock. The IFF says they're allies. Missile, whoa, time out. Fire. Don't tell me they're barrier troops. Someone's on me! Is he an enemy? Evade! Ocean fighters do not attack! Shit! These guys aren't allies! Are they spoofing our IFF? Modern IFF connects to our strategic system via satellites. It can't be decoded. What the hell? The enemy's showing no mercy! Combat. I don't know who's on who's team. I'm hit. I'm done. At this rate, no one's going to get out alive. All aircraft head into the 
clouds. Get out of the enemy's sight. Uh, and then what? What about markings and craft type? There's no time. Hey, the enemy's working in coordination. Information regarding IFFs is top secret. There's no way they can make a fake. Gather around me. I mean Trigger. What? Bandog, can you register Trigger in the blips around him as friendlies? What are you thinking? Nickel. What good is that? Nickel. What other choice do we have? Nickel. Sure. All right. All aircraft, form up on Trigger. Nice and tight.
on the last one. Oh, yeah! You like that, you dirty freak? Damn it! God damn it! Why is this... <laughs> what? Full band? What the hell? Full band's down! Friendly fire? Didn't we get all the bandits? Full band got tagged as an enemy. What? Purpose band dog. Did what? Don't play dumb. Bull band. It was an accident. It got out of control. Return to base. Son of a bitch! The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. You know what happens by giving false reports. Anyway, you other pilots should learn from him. I'm getting the hell out of this dump. And when I do, their kill count will make my star shine brighter. Suddenly, we were being treated like a regular unit. We've been ordered to pack everything up and move the base further inland. We even got a transport plane. The funny thing is, no one here remembers I've got a bum leg and, oh, that I'm not a soldier. Take a look at the map. There's an island on the other side of Yuja our Marines landed on. The space elevator's not too far from there. They tell us the airfield's being used as a base to support the elevator. Not sure if I trust that intel. Anyway, the transport plane's gonna drop us there. Without any fighters to cover us. Some genius thought we could commandeer the enemy's jets they left in the hangars, and use those to fight. Y'all aren't real soldiers, they said. Any other day we'd be using you lowlifes to go out and dig up landmines, and prisoners don't get guns. You'll just have to make do with whatever we give you and like it. A phone. They don't let us prisoners near them. But with all the hustle and bustle of moving the base, they forgot to lock this one up. Looks like an antique. I lost my right for a phone call ever since I was arrested and locked up. It's trippy to think that I can just hook it up, dial a number, and talk to someone from my own country. Planning escapes ain't all I'm good at. I'm plenty good at remembering phone numbers, too. A little while later, I headed over to HQ. You must know. We did get a call direct from command. That pipe, what exactly are you doing with it? My grandfather had a lot of friends in the Air Force from his time as a lieutenant. My point? Well, you're going to set out in your own special aircraft. Then you'll send everybody else off in the wrong direction while you head somewhere else. <sighs> All right, fine. But just you and you alone. You're the only one allowed on board. Besides, there's only one seat left. I said, cool. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Attention! I've received a communication from the General Staff Office. It seems your ability to carry out missions has gotten the attention of the higher-ups. All of you have been pardoned. The Ocean Air Force Base 444 Squadron is now officially legit. 
In celebration, you were to join the operation to take back the base on Tyler Island in southwestern Yuzhia. The battle is underway, and the airport to the south has been reclaimed. However, fighting with the remaining forces in the north is still active. You will all be stationed at the airport. The battle is not letting up. We expect extensive losses to all involved. Still, the fact that we've gained new ground is a blessing. My time as CO of the penal base is over. All command personnel, including myself, are being moved to a base in far eastern Yuzhia. However, we will be stopping to refuel in Bulgurderest. It's in Erujian territory, with close ties to Osia. Even if we detour, we will still have to fly through Erujian airspace in the end. And that is where we will need you ex-cons to come in. I've selected a number of you with mission experience to provide support. That's all. Dismissed. Hey, Trigger, wait right there. Though I'm not entirely happy with the arrangement, you are going to provide support. The drones might attack again. If they do, protect my aircraft with your life. If the General Staff Office hadn't stepped in and requested you, your ass would have been sent to Tyler Island. You were covered in Harling's blood, yet you still are messing around behind the scenes. You breathe in a way I don't like, and I'll shoot you out of the damn sky. Operations complete. Stand by at the front. Spare 15, this is the control tower. The runway is clear. You are cleared for takeoff. The base commander's transport craft has taken off. It's flying alongside Spare 2. Well, Trigger, this is where we part ways. I hope we meet again in different squadrons. Spare 15, takeoff confirmed. Spare 15, altitude restriction lifted. So the liaison plane left without me. Yeah, I know. I'm heading into hell. Whatever. If the cons here and the dumbass prison guards are going, why shouldn't I? I'm no angel. I mean, my old man died playing hero, and all I do is hate him for it. It ain't gonna be a picnic, that's for sure. Adios, you damn fool. The order is simple. Kill anyone trying to kill the commander, even if they're one of us. Like how you killed Full Band? It was an accident, so shut up. I'll do the talking. This is Base Commander McKinsey. I want you idiots to understand the gravity of this operation. My orders take priority. That's it. <sighs> sure wish our cargo would shut up. The enemy's using anti-air weapons. Don't freak out. Keep your shit together. Be on the lookout for camouflage SAM sites. Seek and destroy. SAM site confirmed. Down. Stay alert. Sam sites detected. Keep the commander safe. I don't want to deal with the mess. Ha! <laughs> now we can sleep in for once. Threat confirmed eliminated.
damage. Who can still fly? Damaged? Take out the goddamn missile and there'd be no damage. Samsite detected. Eliminate all threats. Silent. Bandits closing in. Determined hostile. Intercept. The general staff office seems to have the impression you didn't kill Harling Trigger. The court at destination will reopen your case. Successfully carry out this mission and it'll give a good impression. Rover 1 hit by a missile. Bandon. Get some support in there fast. Tell them I requested it. There's no time. Two aircraft will have to do. Another Zam spotted. This is School 3. Enemy transport and support spotted and confirmed. Sending backup. Code to engage. Another Sam. Clean it up. Spare squadron. Sam site's located. Take him out. 40 kilometers remain. Missile. Escorts that go down do so in honorable service. Missile. Of my praise. Missile. The next missile will down your Missile. craft, so watch your tail. Van Dogs, it's up to you to make sure the support stays Missile. in the air. Missile. Missile. Enemy destroyed. Continue with escort. Flying as an escort makes me feel like I'm all tied down. Stop slacking out there. Righto. Do not let the enemy get closer. Sam site's located. Destination. You're about halfway. Stall warning. Stall warning. 
Hands off while they're in Erujian airspace. OTI is our brother nation. Help them. We have to leave them to OTI until they cross the border. Don't want Spare two, spare 15. Bandits closing in on one to one. Intercept and engage. Band dog, I see enemy aircrafts. They're right on us. Call our escorts back. Count looks promising. He's got a good combat record. Heading into the ground. I'm waiting. Down that transport before it crosses the border. Four Squadron. What is your affiliation? Got a guard dog out here barking? This is your old friend, Cyclops One. Cyclops Squadron? What are you doing here? I was tracking an enemy prototype. I wouldn't be surprised if that dumbass from your side was the one who downed it. This is Base Commander McKinsey. I apologize on behalf of that asshole. Well, he really screwed up. He didn't listen to my order to stand down. I'm certain he'll be punished for taking down the unidentified aircraft. Give me a break. Commander, if you would kindly accompany me to my base, we'll answer any questions you have there. Actually, I'm grateful. Support was unreliable. Respectfully, sir, I believe they got promise. The order 
this simple. Ordinarily, you get a warm welcome to our base, but the situation is complicated. That drone is the enemy's latest experimental craft. We wanted to collect data on its capabilities, but that's gone out the window now, hasn't it? To be honest, I didn't think it could be brought down by anything. Oh yeah, your commander has been transferred to a different post. He's probably headed to the front lines where things are hottest. Well, he did stress his achievements. We need every edge we have. We're currently seeing where we can use you best. Stand by for further orders. Trigger, count. We've received official confirmation about what we're supposed to do with you. The company commander has made it clear he'd like you both to officially join our squadron. This is an unprecedented move. Seems like you've got some people looking out for you. Still, I think it's because of how you've conducted yourselves. I believe you'll be an asset to us. Okay, it's time for your briefing. For a long time, our counteroffensive has been overpowered by the Erosion Drone's auto-intercept system. If a craft enters their airspace and doesn't respond to their IFF, drones automatically take off and move to intercept their target. However, we've discovered that the intercept system has a blind spot. We've acquired this valuable information by sending our other squadrons on dangerous missions to scout the whole area and initiate combat. Of all the pilots assigned to us, only two managed to survive the mission. If we don't act now, before the enemy can fill in the blind spot, those pilots will have sacrificed themselves for nothing. So, we've been ordered to carry out a long-range strategic strike. Operating separately from the main forces as the long-range strategic strike group, we've been developing a strategy in secret. Cyclops Squadron and Strider Squadron will sortie deep into the Erosion territory and will be carrying out specialized, long-range attack strategies. You will carve your way through the territory from the north to the capital of Barbani, attacking important targets along the way. The first operation will involve striking the enemy's main naval force, the Njord Fleet, which is gathered in northern Yuzhen. We've known for some time that there's a large supply base utilized by the enemy fleet in the waters around Snyder's Top. At present, the enemy fleet is concentrated there. Naturally, they intend to attack Eastern Yuzha, where the Ostian forces are stationed. If we can surprise the enemy with a long-range attack, we could potentially do devastating damage to them. Still, it's highly likely that their advanced fleet are prepared and have started to move so combat with the enemy fleet is probably unavoidable. We've verified the existence of a large supply base in the sea, as well as a medium-sized one in a valley by an estuary. It's a wide operation area, and there are a number of places you can expect large-scale combat, so we've set up a return line for replenishing supplies. Use it proactively. Anytime you feel the need to stock up on ammo or make repairs to your craft, it's there. While aircraft and ammo can be replaced, the lives of our pilots cannot. We don't want any casualties out there. Remember that. The counterattack has begun. Brace yourselves.
Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. Sortie ASAP. Your first mission is to refuel midair. I'll provide you with instructions. Trigger, the call sign is Strider 1. You will be leading Strider Squadron. Count. You'll be Cyclops 2. You'll be under Cyclops 1. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat while I work. My judgment goes fuzzy when I'm too hungry. How can you talk about food? Trigger, how come you're number one and I'm stuck as number two? Oh well, I guess I can let it slide for now. And we're just supposed to follow you? I heard you're spectacular, Captain. At least with your last squadron. I don't want you slowing us down out there. Half of us are resupplying. We need We're time. near the valley platform. Damn it! They caught us getting ready to deploy. Hurry it up! Missile. Strider 3, engaging. Missile. Cyclops 3, Missile. engaging. Cyclops 4, engaging. Target destroyed. supposed to smash up that whole thing? That'd be a tall order. Just destroy the boats, aircraft, and AA weaponry. No, let's do what the chicks say. Confirmed. It is going to be between those 
response and that burger is well done. Were we serving a sandwich? I'm happy to eat both. Whatever you say, man.
missile launched. Strato 1, target acquired. 
30 seconds remaining. Missile. Your plane will ice up if you stay in there too long. Strider 3, watch your tail. Strider 1, enemy is locked on. Bandit acquired. Firing. Missile. I've been spiked. Missile. Missile. Bonus 6. Missile. Breaking out of fire. Breaking, breaking. Trigger's one of the pilots who's been up against the demon in that experimental squadron. Chased him off solo too, since support ran off. I was there myself. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for Trigger. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, well, I wish I'd been there too. If you were one of those escorts that flew off, you should watch your back. Attention all aircraft. Operation complete. The enemy won't recover from this one. You did great out there. I think tonight's the night we finally opened that bottle. I think I understand the new boss's style. Our other newcomer is a unique character. <sighs> the old squad was bad, and I guess it's no different here. I could really perform. If only I had some partners I could trust. No need to worry. I got your back. Relax and do your thing. Give me a break. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat while I work. The mission was a success. You did more to hobble the enemy's sea power than we first expected. Outstanding work. This should free up our allies who have been bogged down on the East Coast. In addition, this success allows us to finally move on and initiate the operation to shoot down the Arsenal Bird. We have a long road ahead of us. Get some rest while you can. Our counteroffensive has changed the course of the war. However, the western part of the continent and the area around the space elevator still remain under erosion control. As you all know, this is because they have those damn arsenal birds controlling the skies around the lighthouse. So, we're going to use Stonehenge for a long-range attack against the arsenal bird. In addition to helping to destroy the asteroid, Stonehenge was also utilized by the Illusion forces as a weapon in the Continental War. However, the majority of the artillery is out of action after an air raid by the Independent State Allied forces. When that happened, the main base was being repaired from the damage caused by the asteroid, so it managed to escape the bombardment. The Ocean Army continued the repairs in secret and managed to reactivate its base systems. Once preparations are complete, it will be able to fire again. However, the officer in charge has yet to confirm whether it can be fired more than once. In other words, it is looking like we may have only one chance to be able to bring down one of those invulnerable arsenal birds. We're going all in on this one plan. The Erusion forces have detected our movements and are marching on Stonehenge. The arsenal bird is closing in, but if our operation goes as planned, we should be able to shoot it down before it reaches the operation area. We've set up strong points we call Menhirs around Stonehenge. Provide them with air support while keeping air superiority. Our mission is to protect Stonehenge until it can shoot down that monster bird. If we can shoot down even just one arsenal bird, it will significantly reduce the scale of the enemy's air defense network. Stonehenge is our only way of bringing down an arsenal bird. Missing is a luxury we cannot afford.
Fighter Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Yet. Let's take out the enemy while our friends are still on their feet. Stall warning. Uh -huh. 
Stop the countdown. We've lost the target. This is going to shut down. Gone? What? The stupid thing is flying in the open. The survey data isn't updating. No response from our spotter. Survey vehicle down. Those vehicles were Stonehenge's eyes. Without those, I'm sorry. Don't give up yet, Major. We still have sensors. All right. The oldest sensors in the book. What are you scheming? They're too unreliable. Not bad. That's something. Impossible. We got each other. We can't do any more. Half the battery container. We can't around. carry out our mission. Come on, damn it! Attention, all personnel. We have a change in the mission. We will now be using direct fire to shoot down the arsenal bird. Listen. Attack the central repellers. If you can destroy them, the arsenal bird will slow down. Strider 1, Cyclops 1, air up and attack that propeller. Everyone else, defend Stonehenge from the UAVs. Wilco, Hager, you take the lead. He's ready against APS. I'm going. The propellers are too much for Trigger alone. appetite. But enough about that. Get some rest now before the counterattack. All the 
defensive and air support. The mission succeeded, but at a great cost. This victory marks a strategic turning point. The enemy has only one arsenal bird left, and the defensive grid around the space elevator has been decimated. We can expect a counteroffensive by Ocean forces everywhere. I was born downtown in our capital. When I recall my homeland, my thoughts are filled with the sights and sounds of the city. But home means something different to each and every one of us. Therefore, I've decided to visit every place where our citizens call home. The kingdom of Arugia is a land of diversity. Each region has its own unique and special culture. The destruction of one of their arsenal birds has significantly reduced the scale of Arusha's air defense network. Ocean forces have moved into the areas where we gained air superiority and freed over half of the Yuzhin continent. However, Arusha is feeling the pressure and is reacting by attempting to activate the ballistic missile base in the suburbs of Sierra Plata. For the past 72 hours, they've put the resources and people into action and have already entered the final stages of a launch. The missile silo is deep underground. To destroy it, we'll need a bomber to drop a huge deep penetration bomb in a precise place. Unfortunately, that airspace is thick with clouds at the moment, so it'll be difficult for a bomber to hit the target accurately. Normally, we'd wait for the weather to clear, but with the situation being what it is, we don't have that option. So. We will be the bomber's eyes and find the missile silo. You'll all be equipped with targeting pods instead of special weapons. We need you to fly at low altitude, visually identify which silo they're activating, then acquire it with your targeting pod. Once you press the firing switch, the bombers will drop their payload based on the location data provided by the targeting pod. You will need to keep the silo in the center of your sight until the bomb hits its target, or else it will miss entirely. It takes a high level of airmanship to properly guide these bombs to their targets while flying in the Naturally, we assume the enemy has positioned anti-air artillery and aircraft in the area of operations, so stay alert. Additionally, we suffered human and material losses in the last battle, so Cyclops Squadron will sit this one out. Trigger, it's up to you to make this work with just Strider Squadron. 